Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome to Tips of the Valley. Now today's video is going to be focusing on the Valley Trucks and we know from playing the Valley there are quite a few situations with the trucks that just need to be covered. So in this video I'm going to be looking at quite a few of those and just talking about what actually happens or you can do. So sit back, relax and enjoy. Now the first one we've got there is Diamond Speed Ups. Now this is where you've actually got a truck of your own that breaks down. So you can see my truck there highlighted in red I'm going to send it on its way to another location and as it's driving it kind of stops and says oh my goodness me you've broken down. Now the speed up option is 20 diamonds and all you need to do is just tap on that it speeds it up and the truck is ready to go and you can continue on your merry way. Now that's an easy option if you actually have the diamonds and sometimes it's worth doing other times it's not but remember it does cost diamonds everyone. Right, option number two is a cool down and wait period. Now, I'm not so keen on this one because it does take a bit of time. Now, as an example, my truck is again going on its way from one location to another location. I'm picking and choosing my routes and deciding what I want to do. Now, once I've chosen my route and my truck starts going, it breaks down. Now, the cool down period is an hour and 59 minutes or I can speed it up. Now, if I don't want to speed it up, I can wait. It just means that the clock is going to tick down and down and down and down. Or maybe someone else can come along and repair my truck for me. But as such, the game is relatively slow. The valley is not something you need to rush, so I'll come back later. Right, the next one I've got down there is repairing trucks. Now, this is something your friends can do or you can go and do as well. You'll see one of your colleagues down there with a broken down truck. It says, please come and help me. So you drive to that location. Now, the cool down period is only 6 minutes and 20 odd seconds, but I want to repair it anyway. So there I go. I've arrived at my friends. It says, do you want to repair the truck? And I'm going to say yes. Now, by repairing that truck, because it's a green one, it's actually belonged to a hoodie. I get a reward as well, which is very nice. And then I then head on over to my actual hood and I type a message. So for any of the green trucks, everybody, that relates to your hood, if you do repair them so they can be activated again, go and leave a message. Don't forget that the actual valley is a separate area. And as such, you're not being told that your truck has been repaired. Now, repairing trucks is a good thing, especially when you do get these wonderful rewards. Now, you saw me get some nice little tokens there, but the tokens do vary depending on the actual truck. You've got the greens, you've got the pinks, and you've got the blues there. So, finding a broken down truck is an option you might consider. Another one of my hoodies there has broken down, and it's actually not too far away. Now, there are many other hoodies on the board there, as you can see. So, we've all got the option of heading over into that location. So, I'm going, going, knowing and as I drive I go past all of the little pit stops I go and visit another building on my way there might as well make benefit of the actual journey and finally arrive at my friends now I get to my friends and as usual I can let him wait there for the hour and 43 minutes or I can repair it but look at that I get the rewards so not only do I get tokens but it also helps towards the daily quests as well so again a very beneficial activity repairing trucks is a good thing letting them cool down not so good but do plan your routes carefully everybody because sometimes truth routes can be very difficult. For example, let's have a look at an example now. Now, if I look at my map here, you'll see that there's a broken down truck down at the bottom. There's also another one that's further up. And you can see where my little red icon there is over there. It's a long way away. So what I'm doing here is looking at some of the buildings that are available and maybe deciding which route I want to go. Now, as I'm driving, I'm going to visit buildings. Visiting buildings as you do different routes is very important indeed. Uh, you might get some roadside surprises, you might see chickens, there could be some other things along the way. And if you see them, collect them, because again, there is that time limitation. I'm not going to leave any rewards behind, of course. Now, my friend's truck there is down at the bottom, so I need to actually head on over to these actual locations that are closer and closer. Now, that's the great thing about the clouds being fewer than before. I can actually plan my route a lot better. So, for valley number one, it's actually going to be the same as the trial period, which is actually pretty cool. So, I've got a good idea on what to go for. Now, if I tap on the buildings, I can't see how much fuel I need. So I'm going to go backwards on the route, as you can see there, tapping away just to count how many. Now, what I can do, of course, if I wanted to, uh, is maybe look around and find someone else that's a little closer. The map area is quite extensive. You know, there's another one over there in the clouds, but that one's a little bit too far away. So I'm kind of better off where I am down at the bottom. 
Okay, going to tracks, helping them out is actually very beneficial. Hopefully this video gave you some clues and tips on what to do and what to expect. Make sure you subscribe to this playlist, everybody. It's going to be called Tip of the Valley. And there will be a lot of videos covering different valley aspects for you. I will see you in my next video. Take care, have fun, and enjoy the valley that's about to start very, very soon. Goodbye now.